good to see you again. I'm just in the middle of making these molded masks. Now, they're brilliant. Have a look at this. Look at that. Weird, aren't they? Fantastic for fancy dress parties. Would we'll just make one to freak people out. <laughs> now, this is where I got up to last time. So, if you want to try it yourself, roll a large handful of soft modelling clay into an oval shape. Now, don't forget to ask before you borrow the rolling pin. Gently press this over the top half of your face, not your mouth, and don't forget to keep your eyes closed. Remove the modelling clay and place it face down on a scrunched up towel. Lay cling film into your mould, pushing it into all the facial features. Do four layers of papier-mâché using PVA glue mix and newspaper. When this is dried, draw a neat shape around the edge and two eyes. Use a pencil to poke through the eyes so you can cut them out. And also cut around the edge to get yourself a moulded mask that fits you. So, OK, that's your basic mask shape. And you can, if you want to, paint it at this stage. And there's one that I've done. I've painted this one with blue paint and I've used gold pen here for all these fancy bits. And I've even popped some holes near the edges and threaded some ribbon through to tie it with. And, you know, they're absolutely brilliant for fancy dress parties. <laughs> or you could go really over the top and create some real crazy effects like this one. Watch this. Weird, eh? But very easy to do. You see, when you've got your basic mask shape, just turn your plasticine mould over the other side and rest your mask on it for support. Just rest it on like that. Now you can build up some weird facial features by simply dunking some cotton wool or tissue paper balls into your glue mixture and just squeeze out the excess glue and place it onto your mask to create, well, whatever you like. I'm going to do a nice big bulbous nose there and put some nostrils on the side there. Again, these gluey cotton wool balls. I think I'll just squeeze out the excess there and put on some eyebrows around the top. And I'm just moulding it into shape, the wet cotton wool, just pressing it in like that. See that? Brilliant, isn't it? Now, leave it to dry. And I have to say, it may take a day or two to really dry, but when it's dry, it's gone rock hard and it's ready to paint. Now, I'm going to paint this one to match my skin colour as closely as possible by mixing red, yellow and white. And the idea is to paint the whole of your mask in poster or acrylic paint just to match your skin. And you can add on other little funny bits, like maybe I'll give it a red nose pop a red nose on the end there like a clown or maybe even blend some red in on the cheeks you can do whatever you want and when you've done it and completed the whole thing leave it to dry and I've even added in some eyebrows look at that eyebrows in there and I've painted the nostrils black I've even put in some shading on the eyes and there it is look at that a perfect fit for a perfect twit <laughs> and you could even try adding on lots of different things before you paint them. How's about putting on some cardboard glasses 